All right, Shalom. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Kakadash. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Racha Hakwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son. All right. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, in whom the Lord has uh, made pastors. To teach us knowledge and wisdom, all right, when we learn from, all right, and shalom to the hopeful elect brothers that are out there pushing, and also the brothers and sisters that are believers of this word and shew forth their faith by action. Um, and I wanted to do a, a quick um, land back or response, so to speak, to this uh, brother right here, the brother Ariella. Um, the walk and talk he did said feed with food convenient for me you know and some of the, uh, a lot of the things the brother was saying you know um all everything the brother was saying was on point um i just wanted to harp on some things um that he was saying you know add to it uh build build off of it so to speak um you know because he mentioned uh you know many key points you know and, and that's how we that's how you do want to be is uh, living a simplistic life, uh, especially like the brother mentioned, the times that we are coming in. You know, food convenient for us, right? What we need, you know. Um, and as a script, you know, uh, hey, get the Lord giving us our daily bread, you know, and counting, counting, you know, if you have food uh, and raiment. And a house to cover your shame, right? A place to sleep. Hey, man, that's hey, that's a, a a blessing because hey, people don't have that, and that's really your necessity. That's what you need, right? That's 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 uh, you should be glad that you had the Most High has blessed you with that necessity because you have people who are, who don't have a uh, a house to live in. They don't know. Um, they don't have food to eat every day right and you know they don't they may they may not have they may have clothing that they wear but they don't have an abundance of clothing and imagine the type of uh um positions we're going to be put in in a time to come in jacob's trouble where you may have to be a pilgrim right as you can see right here on the screen too right from that movie um um the book book of eli right he had nothing but the clothes on his back or whatever he had in his pack, right? He, he was a pilgrim. He was traveling. A pilgrim is someone who travels from place to place. You know, he was traveling to this, in the same direction, but he was sleeping in, you know, one place and then get up the next day and walk. He would walk every day, sleep at night. So he was a pilgrim, right? And really in the movie, he was being provided whatever he needed um his necessities uh day by you know day by day one day he might find some food you know uh in the movie he comes across the town he gets some water you know just simple stuff man and th th those are the times that we're coming in so you know as as the brother was saying um you know you're gonna you're gonna want to exercise simplicity you know when it comes to you know the resources that the Lord blesses you with, exercising it with, uh, you know, not doing too much, so to speak. You know, not uh, buying too many uh, uh, <laughs> luxurious things, and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get into that. Not um, wanting to do all these different things because, hey, all the things that you want to do, the things that you want to get, it requires what? Money. It requires money. You know. And, um, you know, I've been listening to uh, different, um, you know, motiv uh, motivational uh, characters, so to speak. But, you know, they talk, they talk about um, when you receive increase, not, not uh, increasing your expenses. So the Lord may bless you with more money, 
and you know if he bless you with more money especially in the time that we're in it would be wise of you just to keep your your expenses the same you know staying within the the expenses you have now you know now um i'm gonna grab this because there's, there's there's nothing wrong with doing good unto yourself right um, let me see Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 14 and verse 11 it says what um let's let's let it load uh, uh actually you know what let's 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 get some more and I think some more in there through the spirit uh let's see 11 Some, hey man, hey. I'm gonna start at verse nine. Ecclesiastic, Ecclesiastic, Sirach, chapter, chapter uh, fourteen, verse nine. It says, "A covetous man's eye is not satisfied." When well, you think about that, oh. hey, Esau, Edom is a covetous man. Like Habakkuk, the second chapter says, he is a covetous. He's covetous, man. He keepeth not at home. He wants everybody's resources. He wants all of it. Here it is. He got an abundance, but he wants more. Here it is. He he controls all the major commodities in the world, but now he wants more. He wants to control your soul. He's a covetous man, right? Right, and the Lord doesn't like um, uh, covetousness, right? Like the a scripture said, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, right? <clears throat> right? Envying someone and, and, and seeking to have something that is someone else's. That's his portion. That's his lot. That's what the Lord has blessed him with. You can't be mad that the, that the Lord get that's his portion. Right? It says a covetous man is not satisfied with his with his portion. This devil's not, he's not satisfied, man. He wants more. He wants to be like the most high. Right? But we don't want to be like that. We want to be satisfied with what the Lord gave us. I'm, I'm, let me grab that. Let me grab that too. Another word for satisfied is content. Right? This is uh, 1 Timothy chapter 6. And uh, we got to let it load again. And 8, it says, And having food and raiment, let us therewith, with the food and the raiment, be content, be satisfied. Right? The time for us to enjoy luxurious, um, the abundance of luxurious things is not now. Right? You think about you have to do the work of the Lord. You may have a, a responsibility of children that the Lord bless you with. All right? Uh, a, a family. Right? First and foremost, priority, the work of the Lord. Doing the videos. Um, tending to brothers when they need help. You know, all the different things that fall into the ministry. Studying. Um watching the news going into scripture going into prophecy watching videos all those those different things take up your time that's why the scripture says them that have wise be as though they had none right and in essence it's 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 impossible to be a family man and to be a man a true man of the lord he that loveth my beloved brother sister and mother more than me cannot be my disciple meaning if you do not Put me as a priority not meaning that you so like and, and it and says hate but that means to love less right you love your family less than you love the most high meaning what you still love your family but you make the most high yahweh bashim yahweh shah your priority that's your priority 
That is your priority, right? So you cannot be his disciple because what? You have to sacrifice time, energy, and resources for the ministry. You might have to give money, right? You might have to give time. You take time. You got to help a brother out. You take time out your day to do it. You might even give uh, give brother money if he need money, man. You know, or, or give money for for the the cause. You, you might need something particular for the camp to help you do the work of the Lord better, right? Because you know, we're teachers, we're, pre we're preachers, we're prophesying, right? You know, might have to you know brothers put in money. Oh, we're going to get a a, a a a camera for camp. We're gonna get this for camp. We're gonna get uh, uh, what do you call it? Camera stands. All right. We're gonna just different things that, to, to do the work of the Lord, right? That you're, you're gonna sacrifice. Um, it says, "But they will be, but they that be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts." Right. So those people having a, a having a lot of money, they do a lot of bullshit. And the brother mentions that too. You know, not <laughs> not doing a lot of uh, uh, you know bullshit. You know, and this and then you know being disciplined and being in this truth keep you from doing a lot of bullshit, right? <clears throat> and you don't want to do a lot of bullshit with your uh, with your daily bread. You know, you you know you want to really. Uh, 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 be prudent and live simplistic. The main thing is food and raiment, clothes, food, water, and somewhere to lay your head. You know, that that's what is going to be coming up because the, the, the economy is crashing, man. This this place is being turned inside out. This place is is is, is declining. And that's why brothers suggest to have, you know, not be a doomsday prepper, but to have. Uh, a store of food, right? Some type of push, a uh, 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 portion, as a cushion for when you may not be able to get food. Now we know the Lord is going to provide for us, but there's nothing wrong with, uh, you know, getting some stuff, being being wise, you know. And then, then that, within that sense, that also puts you in the mindset of how you shop, you know. Also, not shopping for the the uh, the nice, super delicate and dainty stuff, man. That costs a lot of money, <laughs> right? It says, um, we're going out to eat all the time. It says, uh, for the love of money is the root of all evil. Loving it, if you love it, you'll do anything for it. If you'll do anything for money because you love it. That's the root of all evil, right? Money. Which while some covet after, you covet after. That's a strong, a strong lust. That's a strong lust to where you, you ready to do something, right? You uh, Somebody covering after some uh, his neighbor's wife, you ready to go commit adultery with her. That's why, that's why the scriptures say not to cover anything that your neighbor has, right? Because that thing could grow to you, oh, taking it from him or stealing it from him. And it's sin. That is sin, man. You know? And we know uh, uh, love worketh no ill to his neighbor, so that's sin. And this is what this devil has done uh, uh, since he's had us in captivity. Since he's been in rule. Right? It says, um, and they that have erred... Ooh. It says, uh, it says, which while some covet after, they have erred from the faith. So money can get you effed up in this in this thing, man. Having too much money. You know, that's why, hey, the prayer is what? Food convenient for me. The food that's suitable for me that I need to survive, the need to live. That's it. I want to be no, no mega millionaire, you know, no mega millionaire, this and that. You know, and, and in the times you know, that we're in, you know, a certain um, 
hey, you, you got brothers that, 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 that would be considered uh, middle class, right? But that's still, that's still food convenient for them. That's still convenient for them, you know? Because really now, it's, it's getting to, if you're not, if you're not the super elite, <clears throat> you're, you're poor, basically, you know? You're poor. You know, and you may, the Lord may, uh, you may need to make more money because you have more responsibilities, you know? But the Lord gives you what's, what's convenient for you. It says, um, and push themselves through with many sorrows, right? Look what Judas, uh, 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 Judas Iscariot did, man. He sold the Lord for money, you know? Well, I believe, believe it was 20 pieces of silver. And then he was sorrow, he was sorrowful for it. <laughs> this is, um, and that's the point right there. So it's, it's giving us wisdom, encouraging us to be content with food and raiment. And of course, a house to cover your shame. Just be satisfied with that. You know? Of course, now, um, I wanted to get that too. There's nothing wrong we're doing good unto yourself. I'm going to keep on reading right here. Right. Um, uh, here in 9, it says, And the iniquity of the wicked drieth up his soul. It says, And the wicked eye envieth his bread, and he is a niggard at his table. So, someone who has a wicked eye, who's wicked, uh, in their mind, I, you know, we're going to your mind, like the scriptures say, If thy eye shall be evil, uh, uh, be full of darkness how great is that darkness right you envying somebody uh, uh somebody's uh what they what they um amen what they got what they what they eating right he shall be a nigga at his table he's gonna be stingy right nobody likes a stingy person man that's why it gives us uh manners the correct etiquette not to be stingy when it come, when you see an abundance of food upon the table not to be stingy not to be unsatiable. It says, my son, according to thy ability, according to thy ability, so according to what you are able to do, right? And like, like, um, Elder Yashawamba always mentioned, money answereth all things. So according to your budget, what's in reason, according to your ability that you are able to do, do good to thyself according to what you've been blessed with. Do good unto yourself. Right? That don't mean take the whole daily bread and just ball out, right? But according according to what you are able to do, do good unto yourself, man. Right? If you're able to take take a little uh 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 you know, take a trip to the trail, hike, get your mind off of things, go ahead and do it. You know buy yourself a nice little pair of shoes you know with of course everything within reason within balance within your budget hey get you a nice pair of shoes man maybe go out to a nice little restaurant you know take it like the brother was mentioning take your family out to here the amusement park right maybe take a little trip to the beach right go ahead and do it right according to your ability do good unto yourself nothing wrong with that you gotta be balanced it says, in, 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 up, up, check this out. This is good. This is good balance right here. Do good unto thyself and give the Lord his due offering. Right? So, yes, you take your money, you know, your resources. You do good unto yourself, but then you also give unto the Lord. Right? Now, some of these, uh, like, some of these things don't require money. They might just require time. Right? You got time to yourself. You give time unto the Lord. It says his due offering. So what is required of you for your time and your resources, you give it unto the Lord. That's why it says what? According to thy ability. Right? Now, we also mentioned this. You know, we got different things that uh, we're strong in, that we're weak in. And you got to know what it is that's not your strong suit that you can't you cannot indulge in you can't give that to yourself because 
you're not you're not good in tempering yourself or having temperance in that thing. We all know what those different things are, right? So let's let's read this because he mentioned this in the video also. It says, "My son." It says, "Prove thy soul in thy life," meaning to prove means to test, right? And when you dibble and dabble in certain things, you you find out you'll find out quickly. Oh, well you you'll find out. Oh, that's not for me. I can't. I, my my flesh. I have a hard time controlling my flesh in this area, right? Like the brother said, things that are not unlawful. But I have a hard time controlling myself in this area to where I can be unbalanced. When you become unbalanced, you become sin, right? A false balance is an abomination to the Lord. The Lord hates it and detests it. So it becomes a sin, right? So, um, so if my son prove thyself in thy life and see what is evil for it and give and give not that unto it something that could be lawful unto you could not be expedient and it could become evil unto you because you do it too much whatever that may be it could be video games it could be uh uh uh, uh dealing with uh, uh uh you know you might be a brother that's single it could be it could be dealing with women it could be um spending too much money on nice luxurious clothes that you really don't need right because you have an abundance already you know like like i said with everything within reason within balance right it could be anything man that you that's not unlawful but you're doing too much of it you're doing too much right especially when it starts to take away from you doing the work of the lord you're doing too much right it says um for all things are not profitable for all men. So not everything is for everybody. You know? Yeah, so I'm going to end it there.